Okay, Kurt, this is for you. I'm going to show you what the landscaping looks like today. It's Thursday, uh, July 29th. This is the front of Su Refugio, as you know. The three towers, the simple hills with nothing on them because they're significant in the story of the Gospel. Anyway, we're going to enter Su Refugio. And the work's still in progress, so it's not finished, but uh, hopefully you'll see the difference in the mounds. Hopefully you'll like it. Um, and so I think what we'll do first is, well, this is the, uh, the church, the lobby, and you can see the little corner mound there, or the little landscape area anyway, and I think it looks pretty good. And then we start coming down, and uh, you can see that I significantly changed the mound. I tore it up from what it looked like before, and more to what your design is. So it's still working on it. It's not completely shaped yet, but most of the dirt has been moved. And uh, tomorrow I'll have them be cleaning up the areas and I can show the landscape architect that as well. So that's the church, obviously, see that? Been in that before. There's that landscape area there. We'll put something, we're not gonna put the palms, something else. There's the beautiful, Rosa, Rosado uh, Pacho trees that'll be lining coming down here. You can imagine what it's going to look like with two lines of trees going down there. You can see the amphitheater now, and they're just uh, finishing up the structure today. Tomorrow they'll paint the top and then start putting the membrane and the roof on. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. There's a famous Damian aqueduct, but I'm going to take you back now. And uh, we'll start back at the entrance and we'll start going to the left into the area. You can see all the workers have had about nine people working here for two days. I uh, had to buy, uh, buy two wheelbarrows because they're doing everything moving earth by buckets. Uh, it's taking forever. Went out and had two wheelbarrows made in Tobati. Uh, I'll show them to you as we go through. But here's the entrance. Significantly changed the mounds. It's a mound here. We had a lot of dirt. This here will be a step down. I'll turn around and show you in a second. Here what that looks like. This is not exactly the way it was, but it's pretty close to your plans. There'll be a step down right there with, uh, with the stone, uh, Piedra stone. There'll be a, a doubled uh, bench here, so it'll have that diagonal shape on all four sides. This is, uh, you can see here, this mound still needs to be shaped. A little bit, in, especially in this area. Um, we need to remove some dirt down the pathway, but you can get an idea. This is the last mound we're shaping right now, so moving a lot of the dirt is almost twice as high as this initially. Coming into another area here, will there will be another bench. These are the two wheelbarrows I had made yesterday and today to help facilitate things. It came, really came in handy. So you can see a girl sitting here selling chipas and whoever knows what else. Um, okay, so this is the big, huge area. Can't believe how much dirt we had here. Still shaping it, uh, but hopefully this will give you an idea of what it looks like. This is sort of an excess area for more dirt. So we're piling it on and shaping it as we go. But I think it'll look pretty cool. We got the little mound, the little walkways here. I really like the little walkways. Meeting with the landscape architect here uh, uh, in the next couple of days. I met with him once already and he's going to show me some ideas. I'm going to show him the decomposed granite but they don't think they have that here. You can see the, the mound here to the uh, going into the to the albergue or actually the Commodore with the with the pastor's residence above. Give you a little view here. This is a utility box. I'm having them raise and put it in diagonal so we can hide it. But you can see, and I didn't show you the other side. So the other side is obviously where we're gonna be working. We're drilling the well right now. And so hopefully that will be done in a few weeks. God willing, it's only been three months. And uh, of course we're gonna get rid of these trees, especially the ones in the river. Um, and then we'll eventually landscape that side. We're gonna put a two, about a six inch or eight inch uh, cap on this whole wall. So that'll help improve it a little bit too. 
this is where the uh, this is right here is where the um, the bridge goes over you can see down below we've got pipes coming out there's two coming out right now there'll be a couple more once we're finished but it gives you an idea of the mounds I think they're much more gentle um, the landscape architect finally gets it after he saw the mounds he thought we were talking about when we, when they talk about pasto which is grass for them that means only this this kind of grass this kind of grass it doesn't mean anything else it doesn't mean the kind of grasses you would talk about in terms of of uh, your landscape architecture or plants they call those plants and they have some varieties and they're they're looking into that right now so you can see over here we put a little bit of mound here this is a little bit different because we changed the design of the building a little bit and we added this wall here up to the pastor's residence you see we don't have a guardrail up there yet but anyway so you can see this is a uh, we'll have little benches in here like you had designed we'll probably do a little circular bench here you can see they had a huge they had designed a back up so you can see all of this huge drainage ditch thing here not too didn't know that was going to be done it's kind of a surprise when i got here uh, obviously i didn't want to break it up i don't like it but uh for sure um we'll catch any water before it comes to the building if there is any water coming down here so anyway you can see this area here it's kind of nice it's not exactly shaped like you like we'll put a bench right in here in this area but it's looking good and then i'm having them build right now uh two sets of steps right in this area here so there'll be two steps coming down they're just doing that right now as you can see it's really laborious uh, how they do it but they're really good at it it's amazing and of course you know all about the drainage channels that are coming down and they're right now they're just cleaning them up uh, cleaning the concrete on the inside of them cleaning up the walls you can see the stone on the back sides here looking up anyway that looks pretty cool in the next day or so we will start uh, taking this waterfall bringing it down building the uh, the well right in this or the uh, whatever you call it the fountain the place where the fountain will go into anyway the receiving water so as you can see we will come down off these two steps and then we're going to have natural our thought right now is if the uh, landscape guy doesn't come up with some kind of stone or something he has some ideas we're going to use natural not like this but put into the ground and sort of have natural these stones walking through and have those in some of the highly designated walking areas like this one we're not going to pave this or put any kind of hardscape per se on it and uh, you can see the albergue looks pretty cool not quite finished all the way around but uh, i really like it this has been my home for the last few days uh, the neat thing about it is i get the pick of any room I want and uh, so when I come finish at the end of the day I go hmm where will I sleep tonight so anyway this is uh, this is it hope you like it maybe I'll take a shot from up above so you can see it hold on I'll do that